Hey everyone! It is November 1st, which means we get to talk about all the books that I read in October. This is my first like reading wrap up for a month that I've ever done, so I'm really excited. I read eight books this month. I think it's pretty good. And I also didn't start reading until like halfway through October because I was not, I didn't read for like the first two weeks of October. I have my book journals with all the information. This was originally going to be my book journal and then I decided to get a real book journal, like one that has like stuff to like fill out in it. So the first book that I read this month is Hooked. I actually lied. I read this book on October 9th. I started on October 9th. I thought I started it a week later for some reason, I don't know why, but and then I finished it on October 11th. This is basically what I would call a dark romance. Um, there's this guy named James, he goes by Hook, hence the title. And he meets this girl named Wendy. He already knows Wendy. I don't know how much of this is gonna spoil the book. I'm not really gonna spoil it. You gotta find this out in the very beginning anyway. James already knows Wendy because her dad killed his entire family. So like he's, dating her out of revenge, but like she thinks he likes her and then, you know, he actually ends up liking her. You know how the story usually goes, but it's really good. I loved it. Um, there's two more books in the series, but they're not like related. So I haven't bought them or anything. It definitely left me like on the edge. I was intrigued the whole time. Like it just, I kept wanting to read, hence why I finished it in two days. It is a very sexual book. It kind of reminds me of like Fifty Shades of Grey vibes, but adding like crime to it. I do wish there was a sequel that was the same storyline, but... Oh my god. Dude, my cat was chasing a hair tie, but I saw the hair tie just go across the floor in the corner of my eye and I thought it was a giant spider. Oh my god. Oh, I just almost had a heart attack on camera. No clickbait. I rated this book overall a five stars. I gave it a five star rating, which is really good because five stars is kind of hard to get, but I really, really liked it. So maybe I should read the other two. I don't know why I haven't thought about it, but I do recommend this book, um, but it is very spicy. So like, if you are into that, if, if you aren't into that, don't read this. <laughs> The second book I read this month was Addicted to You, and um, I actually didn't know this was a series at all. I just picked it up in the store because that intrigued me. Then when I like started getting more into books and like looking at videos of it, I realized this is like a huge series that people love, which is awesome because I would love to read the rest of it. I started this on October 11th and finished it on October 14th. I guess I should probably tell you how many pages it is if you're interested. This one is 354 pages. Hooked is 319 pages. Basically, this is a story about Lauren and Lily. Lauren is an alcoholic and Lily is a sex addict. And they've been friends basically since they were kids. They both have these addictions that they formed as they grew up. And so they eventually lie to both their families and say that they are dating, um, even though they're actually not dating, they're just best friends. And then they move in together and are like enabling each other's um, addictions. That's basically all I'm gonna say because anything else will kind of ruin the story, but you know how it goes from there. It's like friends to lovers trope. I really like it. I It really like kind of goes into like the details of like an addict, which is interesting because like, I feel like a lot of stories aren't like that. Nothing I've really ever seen in romance, you know, like it wasn't as romantic as I expected though. There wasn't very many like explicit scenes, if you will, like maybe like two or three, honestly. It's funny because I wrote in here overall good read and there's room for a sequel. Like I, because I didn't know that there was fucking like 15 books in the series. Uh, I give this a four. So that is really good. I really like this book. Just like I said, it like I feel like it could have been more romantic. The next book I read was Twisted Love. I started this book on October 15th and finished it on October 17th. And... Um, it is 341 pages. This is also when I started deciding to tab my books, which is the best decision I ever made. I can't remember if I did a thing in this one. I didn't fill it out in this one, but I did fill it out my other one. Basically, this is a story about Alex and Ava. Ava has a brother named Josh, and Josh has Josh is friends with Alex, and Josh has to go. Where did he go? He like went away. I'm gonna can't even remember. He went away. Okay, whatever. And he asked Alex to move into his house, which was right next door to Lily's. Clearly, I'm confused. I meant Ava, not Lily. Lily is not a part of this series. I met Ava. 
close proximity trope. I guess they're kind of friends because they've known each other their whole lives, but they're both like dealing with really personal stuff. So they kind of like, that's what starts their bond. But it's also kind of grumpy sunshine because like she's very happy and like sunshiny and he's just like grumpy, obviously. So I don't really know. There's like multiple for this book. Every chapter ends in a cliffhanger, but the pacing is kind of choppy. Like I feel like it jumps right into their relationship, you know, like there's no really, it's very abrupt is what I'm trying to say. If you prefer lighter reads, I don't recommend this book just because it is pretty spicy, but not until like halfway through the book. But I've heard the other books in the series, they get like better as time goes on and they also get like spicier as time goes on. So I'm excited to read the rest of this series. And I gave this overall four because obviously I really liked it, but it wasn't perfect. But I feel like at least one in the series is gonna be a five star. The next book I read was A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is my first ever like fantasy book, really. Um, I mostly have only ever read romances since I've grown up. When I was a kid, I'm sure I read. I didn't even know what I read, to be honest. If you haven't heard of this series, I'm honestly surprised because it's so big and I just had this like strong urge to read it and I'm so glad I read it. But basically this first book, I started this on October 18th and finished it on October 20th and there are 448 pages. This is about a girl named Feyre. She's the main character of this entire book and there's this land where the fairies live called Perinthian. Perithian? Perithian. And she's a human. She's not a fairy, fae, whatever you want to call it. And there's like a wall and she basically kills this wolf and in the forest this is all in the beginning of the book like you you read this in the beginning i'm just giving you like here's your little trailer if you will one of the um high lords of one of the courts there's like seven courts yeah there's seven courts night court day court dawn court and then autumn court spring court winter court and summer court the high lord of the spring court comes and basically takes her to perithian and the story goes from there and Feyre has to like basically save the entire world from doom. So it's very interesting. Um, the beginning of the book is kind of confusing. I feel like it's kind of slow and I was like so confused, but then by the end of the book, it had me scrambling to read the second one. It's very well paced. It doesn't feel choppy and it also doesn't feel like too slow or too fast. I love that. And I also love Sarah J Mass's like reading, I mean, writing. <laughs> Every chapter like had me on the edge of my seat. Like I literally could not stop reading this book. It's not very spicy at all either. So if you don't like spicy books, this is for you. It's fantasy slash romance. I gave this a four stars because I really liked it, but I didn't rate any of the books until I finished the series. Um, so I like compared them all, you know? The next book I read was A Court of Mist and Fury. This book, oh my God. I started this book on <laughs> October 21st and finished it on October 24th and it has 624 pages. This was the first like giant book that I read. And I was kind of scared, not gonna lie. Like it's, it's kind of intimidating. It's very thick, you know? <laughs> this book is so amazing. You have to like read the first book so that you can get to the second book, but I don't want to share anything about the plot because then it ruins the plot for the first one. But just this one's very romantic. It's very much a love story and you will be, your heart will be aching. And there's just so much like action. It's just beautifully written. I will probably end up reading this book again because I loved it so much. So as you can imagine, this did get five stars. <laughs> the only words I'm going to say is, I am in love with Rysand. That's all I have to say. The next book I read was a Court of Wings and Ruin. Are we surprised? No, this is the third book in the series, which technically ends the trilogy. The series was originally a trilogy and now it's like extended to like other characters in the series. I started this on October 25th and finished it on October 28th. And this book is 699 pages. So even bigger than the last one, not by much though. And once again, I'm not gonna explain the plot at all, but this is basically just about the war that takes place in the story. It's basically all surrounded around that, whereas the last one was more romantic. So this one's more like action packed. It, it does go kind of flat in the middle, I would say. I did get kind of bored at parts because it felt like it was like kind of slow leading up to the war and then it was just like very fast paced from there. 
Um, but I was bawling my eyes out by the end of this video. I was, I was reading this video. I was reading this book in my 24 hour book challenge. So if you wanna go watch that, you can see me bawling my eyes out cause I literally was. I am on page 612 and I'm currently bawling my eyes out. I love the trilogy. The trilogy was amazing. I obviously will be reading the rest of the series. I would highly recommend this to anyone. Even if you haven't really read fantasy before, I highly recommend these for fantasy, like for a first one, because these were my first fantasy and it made me want to read more. This book got four stars because it's still good, but and nothing can top the second one. They're going to be making a TV show out of this series. So I think that's so awesome because it'll be so awesome to see this turned into like a show. Cause you, anyone who has read the book will know what I'm talking about. Like this turned into a show, oh my God. <laughs> The next book I read was A Court of Frost and Starlight, which is like the novella in between the last one and then the next one, which is this orange one right here. And it's like about Farrah's sister. She's like the main person in the story. So like, this is like a bridge from Farrah being the main character to other people, you know what I'm saying? I read this in on the same day. I read the entire thing on October 29th. <laughs> it's 233 pages, so it's not super big. There's really nothing to say about this book. I, I can't, I'm, I mean, it's, it surrounds the winter solstice. Solstice? Yeah. Winter solstice. It's just like after the war. And once again, as I said, it's just a novella. It's just like a bridge. There's not too much valuable information in this. Uh, I rated it a two stars. It wasn't bad. Like I enjoyed reading it. I enjoyed the characters and I'm excited to read the fifth book, but the like need to read this book not necessary really i don't think but i don't know because i haven't read the next book so who knows maybe you do need to read this i don't know <laughs> and the last book i read this month was ricochet um this is the second book in the addicted to you series this one it's a novella it bridges addicted to you it's the bridge from addicted to you to addicted for now i think that's the last or the last book about lily and lauren then it goes into her sisters i think I started this on October 29th and finished it on October 30th and it is 267 pages. It kind of just focuses on Lily's addiction um, and her dealing with it by herself rather than with Lauren. I thought it was good. I liked it and you also get more insight on her sisters which I think is kind of important because some of like all the other books are about her sisters you know. I still gave this book only a two just because it's you know not super necessary i don't think i mean i'm pretty sure most people have to read it i'm sure but it just wasn't the best and i feel like the next book's gonna be so good so those are all the books i read this month and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button and let me know more video ideas that you would like to see i'll see you all in my next one bye guys